Now, normally this isn't a problem because I'll just local record. The problem was my local recording failed because I ran out of storage space. So I originally watched this video and didn't think much about it. But then Ludwig talked more about what happened on his podcast. And then I realized that if someone as big as him is still making this mistake, then it can literally happen to anyone. If it runs out of space because I was recording an MP4, it just crashes and oh, corrupts it. you didn't have the... the I didn't record an MKX or come whatever. Come on, MK4, bro. So the main concerns have already been addressed here. Uh, basically, just record the MKV instead of recording the MP4. In fact, if you try and record the MP4, they give you a warning here about the risks. Uh, like they said before, if your disk runs out of space, you, be, you will lose the entire file. Also, power loss or just... OBS crashes for some reason, you also lose the entire file. MKV is different from MP4 in that MP4 has to write the entire file at once, while MKV writes it as parts, and if it crashes at any point, it'll just, it'll have the beginning part saved, and you and you only lose the very last part that wasn't written yet. I switched, actually, to MP4 because it was easier for the editors, because you have to, like, translate that. It, it is annoying. It doesn't drag in a premiere. It is annoying, but you should you shouldn't. It's bad. So they mentioned that they're originally recording the MKV and had to switch to MP4 because it's more convenient for the editors. Because, you know, you can't drag an MKV file into, you know, most editing softwares. They only accept MP4. However, it's very simple to convert from MKV into MP4. The conversion software is actually built directly into OBS. So what you have to do after you finish your recording is go to File and you go to Remux Recording right here. So, so all you have to do is drag and drop your recording into OBS and then it'll convert it for you. And this is not a direct uh, re-rendering, it's just a copy and paste of the video and audio. So it's very quick. You can even have this done for you automatically. If you go to File, and you go to your Settings, and you go to Advanced, and you go to the Recording, and you check this box, Automatically Remux to MP4. But I will say, if I had to convert a 12-hour file to MP4, I would be annoyed. And uh, the final concern is that this does take a bit of time, if the file is 12 hours long, but it doesn't actually take as long as you would think. The limiting factor is basically how fast your disk can write data, because it's, it's only a copy and paste. So what I have here is a, a video I recorded. It was a league game, so about 30 minutes. I don't show you how long it takes to remug something like this. Yes. So pretty fast, actually. Yeah, maybe like three seconds. Uh, so you can extrapolate that. I'm on an SSD. If you're on a hard drive, it might be slower because, you know, they write slower. But they said they were, they were using an SSD to record to. Which, you know, not the best solution, but it, but it is very fast Remux. So there's that benefit. Also, he's rich, so he can afford it. Shoutouts to Epo's Vox. He's basically the person I watch for everything OBS. And he really knows what he's talking about. Ludwig obviously didn't watch him, but you probably should, so you don't make any more mistakes. Uh, but yeah, that's all for this one. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.